We're Maggie and Brad, and we've been full-time RVing since 2016. Join us and our sidekick Paco as we explore incredible places in the U.S. and beyond. As we headed north, we passed through San Francisco and stopped at the Vista Point that's just north of the Golden Gate Bridge. Hey guys. Hey guys. We are here in beautiful Bodega Bay, California, right along the Juan and the coast. Uh, after we left Santa Cruz, we spent five days more or less just killing time until we could get our reservation here at Bodega Bay. We stayed at a couple of different places, Samuel P. Taylor State Park and uh, Lawson's, Lawson's Landing. Landing. Um, there were some pros and cons to those spots. We'll talk more about that later. While we were at Lawson's Landing, we visited Point Reyes National Seashore, and that was a fun visit. Um, the weather didn't really cooperate too much, <laughs> but we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, we did the hike um, to Chimney Rock and we also tried to go see the lighthouse. That didn't work out so well. There it is. There's the lighthouse. It's just, this is right there behind that fog. But there were still just tons of wildflowers in bloom. It was a quiet time to be there because the weather was so bad. So yeah. uh, that was a bonus. The only real downside to this area is kind of the narrow winding road that is Highway 1. You can't really avoid it. No, nope, even just coming into town. Into in Bodega, Bodega Bay, Bay. Yeah, yeah. You're just going to encounter um, small shoulders. So tight. Narrow like... lanes. You feel extra big, even, you know with our truck and trailer. So yeah. you just gotta um, be extra diligent and cautious. So we are staying at the Bodega Dunes Campground. It's a state park campground. Yeah, but it's part of Sonoma Coast State Park. Uh, we are gonna get out on the e-bikes and uh, have some fun today. It was only about a 10 minute bike ride from our campsite up to beautiful Bodega Head. And with the pedal assist on our e-bikes, we powered right up the inclines with ease. There's a fantastic restaurant with local seafood options called Fishitarian, so we're heading there for lunch. Okay, so on our way up here, we stayed at a couple of different sites for a pretty short amount of time. Um, the first one was Samuel P. Taylor State Park. It was uh, pretty cold and um, we were just there on a couple of work days. So we just hunkered down and just really didn't do anything other than walk Paco around the park. It is for smaller rigs and we were really shaded again. So we struggled for power a lot. Um, <laughs> But with the ground deploy and um, not really doing much, we, we got through. The other place we stayed was Lawson's Landing. 
And it was quite a curvy, steep road to get down there, but we did see big rigs there, so anyone could make it. But um, it was really crowded. We were there for the weekend, so I assume it's it's more crowded on the weekend, but it wasn't really our style to be at such a crowded place. Really, neither of these places we would really seek out to go back to again, but that's just our opinion. Okay, so um, it's kind of cold and not really pleasant out, so we decided rather than go out to lunch, we're just gonna pick some up to go and eat at home. We're going to Fisherman's Cove. Brad just left to get our fish tacos, so I thought I would take this chance to kind of fill you in on what it's been like here at the campground. The trailer is mostly staying shaded and it's kind of a humid, cool weather environment. I don't know if you can tell, the, the windows have stayed like fogged over, we're getting condensation that kind of doesn't really clear up. If we, if the weather was warmer, we could open things up more and it would dry out better. But as it is today, I think the high is like 52. Um, and so we've just kind of had cool, damp, dank weather. Um, the other day we ended up doing a lot of errands. We went over to Sevastopol. We got a lot done and it was really sunny and warm over there. So that was nice. But we went to the laundromat. We washed the truck. We went to the pharmacy. We stocked up on groceries at Safeway because the grocery store here in town is pretty dang expensive. Oh, we went to the post office and the UPS store and we were gonna get propane there, but then I learned that we could fill our tanks at the 76 gas station here in town. So, you know, we ended up spending like four or five hours over in Sebastopol taking care of all that. So that felt good to get it all done, but you know, it just meant we didn't really film because we were just like, go, go, go. We leave tomorrow and we're kind of debating what our route north is going to be, whether we're going to continue north on the one or maybe cut back south and then over and go up the 101 to our next destination. Um, the roads, of course, as you can imagine on the one are just very narrow, very winding and slow going and a little bit, you know, just white knuckle driving to be in such a big vehicle. So I'm going to be doing the majority of the driving tomorrow because it's a work day. Um, Brad can work from the truck. Um, so yeah, we just haven't made that decision yet. Lunch is ready. Yay. I think it's sprinkling. I know it's sprinkling because <laughs> I got it on me. <laughs> this looks good. Baja fish tacos. Was it fresh, fresh caught fish? I think yeah. They it said fresh cod on the menu. Awesome. Well, it's our last day in Bodega Bay. Our batteries were getting extremely low at the campground, so we left early in the morning. But it's a work day for me, so we stayed real close here to Bodega Bay, just a couple miles north, and just parked on the side of the road on the highway um, to get some sun on the solar panels so the batteries will charge up, and it's working out really nicely. The views are really beautiful here, so it's been nice to just watch the waves crash on the rocks out there. We have decided to take the route straight north on the one, even though it seems like it might be a little bit scary we're just going to take it slow and and going to be safe that's right it'll be okay yep <laughs> brad's going to drive yeah <laughs>